Shine offers advice to Vibs Cartel. Move with humility, strategy, and purpose. Belizean rapper turned politician Shine, known for his storied days with Sean Puffy Combs Bad Boy Records, just finished a whirlwind visit to Jamaica, where he chopped it up with dance hall star Vibs Cartel. Shine's diplomatic visit to Jamaica also included drop ins with political leaders, business magnates, and one former beauty queen. The Bad Boys rapper, who is now the leader of the opposition in the Belize House of Representatives and the leader of the Belize United Democratic Party, took a photo with the recently freed dancehall star and shared a lengthy post chalk full of spiritual guidance and heartfelt platitudes. To now see my musical brother free in the flesh after 13 years of bondage moved me to the core, Shine said in a post on his Instagram account. We should all be inspired by the resilience of Vibes, who never gave up on his freedom, never gave up on making great music beyond most of his counterparts. Shine recalled the soul-crushing conditions Cartel experienced when he last saw him in September 2016 at the Horizon Correctional Facility in Kingston. I visited him with my brother Michael Parafita. It was a distressing experience to see a global musical icon in captivity. Having been wrongfully held in captivity myself, I felt the pain of his suffering deeper than most, Shine said. Shine knows Addy's experience all too well. He was incarcerated after things went sideways in a club shooting on December 27, 1999. At the time, Shine had gone clubbing with his mentor label boss, Sean Combs, and Combs' then-girlfriend singer-actress, Jennifer Lopez. Witnesses said a felon named Matthew Scar Allen started an argument with Combs and also threatened to kill Shine. Guns were drawn, shots fired, and three bystanders were injured. In June 2001, Shine was convicted of assault and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Combs and his bodyguard were acquitted on all counts. Combs had been arrested and charged with illegally having two 9mm guns and with bribery but was acquitted of the charges at the trial. He severed all ties with Sean Combs, but Shine's 2000 debut album was a success, and he continued to record music while incarcerated, a similarity he shared with Vibes Cartel. Shine, who has had an impressive second act in Belize politics, after he was released from prison in 2009 and deported to Belize, offered heartfelt, spiritual advice to Vibs Cartel. All of us, especially the youth, should know the resilience of Adija Palmer is within all of us. We should also learn that life will humble you. Life will sit you still to teach you. But once you draw near to the Creator and never give up, life will vindicate you with the rewards you sacrificed for. He intoned seriously in his lengthy post. Shine converted to Judaism, practicing Orthodox Judaism, while incarcerated and officially changed his name to Moses Michael Levi Barrow in 2006.